What's up, guys? It's about 6 30 here in Dallas. My name is Simi Cobbs. Um, I play receiver for DC Defenders. And I'm going to show you guys, you know, a day in the life of an XFL player. Right now, I'm heading from, I got to stand in the hotel. So, heading down, give me some coffee. You either got to give me an Americano or espresso shot. And then we have special teams meeting, a team meeting, and then we got to get on the bus, head over to practice. That's where the real work happens. That's where you get to have that fun, you dig? But let's get it. I went with the ice Americano. Now we're gonna head to breakfast. Grab a little quick bite. Make sure I'm in a for All right, we wrap up with breakfast. Now we head into that team meeting. It's about 7.10 right now. I woke up, it's about 7.30ish uh, right now. You know, about to hop in the shower, go eat breakfast. We got a break from special teams meeting. Getting ready for the head coach to walk in. And it's go time. I'm gonna keep you guys updated. Let you know how we rocking. This is a little voiceover, you know, because I didn't record my voice, but this is me on the way to breakfast. And yeah, here's the dining hall. And then here is the food. And then this is me eating my plate. All right, that's a wrap for meetings. Now we hopping on the bus. We've got, um, we've got warm up and a walk through before we actually hit the practice. So, we've got two hours before we actually get wrong. But, I'll show you guys the process of getting on the bus. Usually, usually we get the music bumping. Have a good little morning sing around. Sing along, I should say. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, coach. And we're here. You see the disco lights? What's up, boss? All right. Now we're here. It's our practice field. It's different than the NFL in the sense that the XFL has all eight teams located here in Texas. And so we'll practice here in Texas and, and then travel to our games in our, in our home states. So we'll be heading out to DC every weekend. Heading to the offensive locker room. What's going on, crew? Show you guys my gear. I get tripped out. The 18 looking good. I'm ready. Be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Get that big one eight out there. Yeah. Got a little time before practice, so go get my ankles taped. Make sure I'm all good to go. Jam out a little bit, get my mind right. It's about eight o'clock or something like that. I'm not even sure the time. It's a little chilly out here, I'm not gonna lie to you. But we here to get better. We gonna get better. I'm trying to get paid, man. The whole thing about this process is locking in every day, understanding your goals and knowing the work you gotta put in for it and then doing it. That's the hardest part. You can think about it, you can talk about it, but doing it. When you start doing it, you'll see the difference. Yeah, I just finished breakfast. Right now I'm gonna head to class, I got a test, and then once I'm done, I'll update y'all from there. Y'all, I just finished class. We are on the way to my dorm, because I got, we had a test, so I have about 20 minutes to spare, so I'm gonna go to my dorm before my next class. All right, we're all dressed for practice now, and it's about to be that time. I can't take you guys out to the practice field with me. I wish I could, but I'm gonna let you guys know how it goes. After practice, we got a lift, so hopefully I can bring you guys to that. Have a good one. Yo, what up? I'm back. So I just made it to my dorm. It's about 9.35ish. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna chill in here for 10, 15 minutes, watch some film, drink some water, 
you know, see if I got any homework. And then I will head to my next class, which is, uh, I believe, English, 10 to 10.50. And All right, so right now, we're in the dorm. We're heading out, going to my 10, 10 o'clock class. Well, we'll be at English. Sorry about the wind. <laughs> but we just got out of class. This is the building. And my dorm is literally right here, right in front of us. And yeah, I have a break from about, what is it right now? It's 1040. So I have from 1040 to about class starts at 12. So I'll leave probably in like an hour. Just wrapped up practice. Now we head into the weight room, get a quick offensive lift. Then we gotta head back to the stadium. Not the stadium, I lied. We gotta head back to the hotel. And then we have meetings to watch everything we did today. So it's a fun process, you know? You wake up, study, ball and then study all over again and hopefully in that process you're getting better at least Let's see if we get the strength coach explain this workout so right now i'm headed to class it's about uh it's 11 50 class starts 12 and i'm almost there and then after this i'm gonna get lunch and yeah what's up guys i'm right here with my head coach jesse strength coach i should say and he's gonna give you a little breakdown of what we just did in the weight room so uh in this cycle we're just trying to get the guys reacclimated, okay, to movement patterns that they have not been maybe used to. So what we're doing is uh, accumulation of some volume with hinging, squatting patterns, and we isolate to integrate. So we're gonna do some isolation exercises to strengthen everything around the hip, and then we go to full body movements. If you're a movement athlete, you never wanna isolate before you leave the gym, strong. There we go, and DC out, baby. All right, now that we got some lunch, we're gonna head over to our film center, break down the practice, learn, grow, and get ready for the next day. Just like that, it's a wrap. All the hard stuff is done for today. Now, we gotta get back to the mental process. Go break down some film, put some good nutritional food in our body, get some recovery and keep it rolling yo what's up guys we just finished class on the way back had to get some chick-fil-a you know how to get my lunch in before uh my 2 30 lift it's about one right now and uh yeah so after this i have my lift is from 2 30 to 4 lift and run and so i pretty much walk everywhere and uh right now i'm on the way to football the for my run and my lift it's about two o'clock lift starts at 2 30. You know, I can walk there about five, 10 minutes. It's not that bad. I walk pretty much everywhere on campus. And uh, yeah, so that's the library. We're pretty much just walking there. And uh, I'll check back in with y'all after. Yo, I just finished my workout and uh, lift and run. You know, went good. We did some power cleans, we, we ran, did some, you know, just works, and uh, I'm on the way back. This is the library right here. It goes down about two stories. And yeah, man, we're just on campus. You know, my dorm is uh, right there. All right, that's a wrap for today. I'll probably, I'll probably get some extra work in, maybe, you know, some catches or get some extra treatment recovery on my body. Uh, probably play some 2K as well, honestly. And then, you know, if you got a if you got a lady back home, fellas, if you in training camp, make sure you show some love. I just showered. I just cleaned up, you know, hair still a little wet, but we're about to go head out. We're about to get um, about to get some dinner and then I'm going to head out, go to tutoring, maybe do study hours. I'm not sure if I have that today, but we'll see. We'll check in. 5:45 right now. Just finished dinner, and uh, I'm on the way to uh, to my tutoring for a hard biology class. And because I have required uh, study hours, so I'm gonna get some of those taken care of. So as you can see, is the library. We're walking back to uh, my dorm right now from tutoring. It went from six to seven, you know. Got that good study in, and uh, yeah, now I'm headed back to my dorm. Got to be up at 7.30 tomorrow, so we're going to hit the hay probably about 9-ish. 
9 or 10, and then, uh, yeah, it's a day in the life of a Division One student-athlete.